There's a male 12-spotted skimmer in this little opening, guarding this little opening here. They're very, very ter territorial, and uh, so I'm going to try to walk in here and net it. Um, when netting a dragonfly, if it's flying, you try to net it from behind with a smooth stroke and then flip your net so that it can't fly out over the edge of the rim. And then uh, you'd reach your hand in and pick it out. If it's perched on something, you can just come in over the, over the top of it. So I'll see what this one allows me to do. Dragonflies, when netted, will usually fly up into the top of the net. So if you hold the net like this and reach up, you can pull them out pretty easily. And they can be safely held by just holding all four of the wings together over the back. For collecting nymphs, you want to use a net that has a mesh just big enough to retain the nymphs. Um, you don't want a really fine mesh net because that will retain a lot of debris in addition to what you're looking for. So generally what you would do, the nymphs are on the bottom, on and in the substrate materials. So you just want to kick around with your feet to try to dislodge them and move the net around where you're dislodging the bottom materials. After you've done that for a while, just drain the water out of your net and carefully examine uh, the contents. When searching for exuvi, it's uh, only necessary to look about two or three feet up the bank from the water's edge. Most dragonflies don't crawl very far from the water to emerge. And make sure you include a date location label in the container that you uh, use to collect the exuvia. 